Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be teaching you how to install the Carrion Combos mod. Now, this one is a little bit different, but it's the one I prefer to use, and I think it's the coolest. Firstly, obviously, open up any of your browsers and make your way over to the Carrion Combo Warriors fan made page. This is my favorite because it just it has a lot of details and it edits the Carrion Combo mod the most. Obviously, it has files like the God Mode file, the Hard Mode file. And it edits the game beyond what most of the regular carry combo warriors mods do. Now, of course, if you do just want the regular carry and combo mod that I showcased in my previous video, you can just go ahead and download that. It, very similarly to this process, but it's just a tad bit easier. Obviously, you're going to need mod engine and the script data exposer. Obviously, you're going to want to download this and, of course, extract the files. Extract means this. Obviously, since I've already extracted it, I'm not going to do that twice. But once you've taken the extracted file, you're going to want to move the extracted file into a uh, another file. For me, that's the Elden Ring mods file where I keep all of my mods, you know, etc. You know, it's very simple. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the script data exposer. Just download that and then go ahead and put that in. Your Elden Ring mod folder or wherever you prefer it to be it just has to be in the same place as the mod engine so. next you're obviously just gonna want to choose which you know difficulty you want to play on since on Nexus mods it's currently bugged and it says that the files are unsafe but they obviously are safe so don't have to worry about anything there so you're gonna want to choose your game mode and of course choose the ones that are the most up-to-date or the most recently updated this means that the uh, creator or the owner of the mod obviously updated it which he did as of 10 a.m today and obviously choose your difficulty mode for me i chose god mode because you know, i want to be overpowered download it same as the rest of course extract it you know Extract all, and you know, obviously, same just for like the past like four steps, and then put that in your Elden Ring mods folder. Now you should have all these mods in your mods folder. Not all of these, but the mods previously mentioned. Obviously, going to want to open up mod engine. Gonna want to open up a separate files tab. And go back to your Elden Ring mods folder. Go to the updated day one patch or whatever mod you chose. Mod, go ahead, copy, and paste this into your mod folder, which I've already done here. So it's unnecessary to do it twice. Then you're going to want to edit your Elden Ring configuration.toml file. Firstly, open it with notes. Once you are here on the notes page over here, you're going to want to find code or line of code that says external DLS full mod, that's nice mod and stuff, etc. And I've already inserted the phrase since I have this mod down, but you're going to want to copy and paste this specific line of code, which should be in the description. It'll look like this. Copy, paste, you know, obviously, and just insert it directly below this one, and it should look a little something like this. You're going to want to save the file, exit out of the TOML, and then you should be done. Obviously, I do have a little thing called the ER Mod Merger, or Mod Manager, but essentially I'll talk about that in a later video, and depending on how this video does, I'll consider making a video on it, or I may or may not. Probably either way. But, uh, once all that's done and figured out, you're gonna wanna launch Elden Ring. And in terms of setting up the mod, that's pretty much the end of the video. 
uh, from this point to the end of the video, however long that may be, um, it's just gonna be straight gameplay. Alright, so here's a little showcase of the mod. Uh, obviously, I had a god mode mod equipped earlier. That's why I opened the mod. Obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this area here. Alrighty. So now let's go to an area just, just a bit more peaceful than this. Search of Ella. So obviously, very similar to the regular carry and combos mod, um, we have the Horned Great Warrior Sword, you know, you know, etc, etc. Among all these weapons, they all have like the same move set among the weapon classes. And obviously, you'll notice that there's a few special weapons that come with this mod. And of course, these weapons are purchased in case you don't already own them. These are just reskins of pre-existing weapons like the Bloodhound's Fang. The Trolls Golem Sword and the Lord Sword's Great Sword. So, you probably already own these, but in case you don't, you had to buy them from Kale, and in case you've already killed Kale like me, make sure you have given the Twin Maiden Husk at the round table hold Kale's Bell Bearing, and obviously use that Bell Bearing and buy these weapons if you don't already have them, or don't. It's the same moveset on all of them. I just bought them because these look cool. Now, as far as the effects on the rest of the stuff, it's pretty negligible, not a lot of effects on the Ashes of War, really anything else but the weapons. Aside from the movement and the amount of FP you have, but this also depends on the difficulty you chose. Since I chose God Mode, obviously I'm given pretty much the maximum amount of FP and a lot of resources to work with. And also probably the best damage. So, you're going to want to choose really any one of these weapons, and they do have all pretty special features. Uh, I actually haven't really learned the combos myself, but they are all really cool and unique, and I haven't learned really all of it, so I'm just trying to get it figured out, but as far as what I can do with it now, it's limited to just about this, which still looks pretty fun. Now, aside from like obviously like the regular weapon abilities for combat and such, you will notice that one very useful weapon trait that we have is the ability to kind of fly on a uh, sword here. To see, so what you want to do to achieve this is just run, and yes, they changed the running animation, and then press R1 on controller, and then you're flying. And obviously, now you can fly, and you will eventually stop flying, but if you press R2 continuously, you will fly pretty much as long as you need to. So, hey, that's pretty cool. 
Obviously, you don't take fall damage. Or at least I don't. On hard mode, you probably do. Other weapon to showcase here is the katana, which is probably the coolest and highest damage weapon on here. That's pretty cool. And, um, of course, the short sword. Obviously, of course, read the description for, like, the details. Because I have it. But, you know. Nonetheless, even with what I don't know, this is still just a really cool thing to have. And it does translate over to your mimic, so it looks crazy. But... And of course, the magic and blood twin blades. You can, of course, apply ashes with most of these. Now, in terms of what's interesting about the twin blades, is that by default, they do have an ash of war applied on them. That allows for travel. And of course, a spinning attack when you press R2. And also, blue flames. And it's pretty much the same thing here, but with red flames. Which I think is And I believe there are two more weapons. Actually, no, three. Game also does come with a reskin short spear, which has its own set. About it. And then you're gonna wanna choose either the Starfist or the Iron Ball. They are not renamed, they just look different. Iron Ball, pretty self-explanatory, just the melee weapon. You know, it's kinda looks a little weird. But you know, it's still pretty nice. And of course there are two-handed and one-handed variants. So this is the two-handed variant of melee combat with the new blue lightning. Which is pretty cool. And then this is essentially the same thing but with red lightning effects. And that's basically it, the entire mod. And if you want to learn how to merge mods, that's probably coming sometime either tomorrow or uh, in a couple days. But yeah, it's coming. If you want to learn how to merge mods or really anything else about this specific mod, or really just anything in general, go ahead and comment that down below, and I'll see you in the next video.